I mean, yes. what are you going to do in the next one year yeah. to diminish the mentally retarded action of this guy? Mm -hmm. Well said. <laughs> Well said. Um, I want to ask you about something that happened yesterday. Okay. Uh, someone at your town hall uh, that we were at yesterday called the current president, President Trump, mentally retarded. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of that? There's video on social media. It's um, an incredibly offensive term. And um, as someone who has a long-standing relationship with advocacy for our disability community, in fact, I, um, I have a whole proposal, policy proposal, that I've been working on for quite some time that we, we rolled out weeks ago. Um, it's offensive, and you would think that in the year 2019, people would have a much better understanding of how hurtful a term like that um, can be, but also the history behind it, which is a history of, um, of really ignoring the needs and the realities and the capacity of, of our disability community. So, we didn't correct him, though. Did you hear him? Bitch wanna die because she know I caught a lie. I heard him talk about the other stuff, and then that came later, and it was not something that I really heard or processed or, you know, um, or in any way condoned, that's for sure. Well said. <laughs> well said. How dare you? Kamala, if a MAGA supporter called you a retard and Donald Trump laughed and said, well said, the news media would lose their minds and we'd never hear the end of it. Luckily, President Trump is a little more politically correct. Joe Biden became mentally impaired. Kamala was born that way. Okay. She was born that way. And if you think about it, only a mentally disabled person could have allowed this to happen to our country. Please subscribe.